Hi peeps, so I wanted to share with you two journals that will be in my shop by the end of the day today. They are both recipe themed. This one may look familiar because I actually created, created it, uh, I think last year sometime. <laughs> um, I had created uh, two of them uh, with different uh, prima dolls on the front. The first, the other one sold, but this one I took out the shop because I noticed that the binding wasn't as tight as I like. So um, I took it out the shop and I just kind of forgot about it and I hadn't um, read the spine. Um, so when I was working on this one, it reminded me that um, I needed to redo the spine for this one. So I did redo the spine. So we're going to go through this one first and then we will do this one. So, okay, so because I had to redo the spine, I had to redo the lace, and when I pulled it up, of course, it tore. <laughs> um, so you can see a little bit of the tearing here. If you look really closely, you know I like to be transparent, um, just in case it bothers anyone. If you want this and this bothers you, I can try to cover it up with something else, but I personally don't think... If I didn't tell you, you would even know, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, um, just wanted to point that out. So, like I said, this is a Julie Nutting um, Prima Doll that I paper piece and adhere to the cover. I have this gorgeous eyelet lace here. Um, eyelets here with some coffee dye seam binding for the closure. And I pinned on this cute little muffin tin charm. Sorry about the background noise, you know, NYC life. Okay, so here um, I have a large tag. This is a file folder, by the way, in case you don't know. And then you can add the person's name here. You can do some journaling on it. Okay, and then the back has a tag also this one I put some seam binding on it and I did a little stamp right there okay so we open it up and the pocket is actually a paper bag that I just covered with some paper so you have a large pocket right here and then a pocket here with some journal cards And this little mason jar that I paper piece, so you can journal on that as well. And a little sticker here. We have a journal card. I'm going to go pretty fast because there is a video of this one already. But um, this image I got from Pixby. This is a pocket. And there are some recipe cards in there. A little stamping here. This paper is from Tsunami Rose. Coffee dye paper, a little stamping is an envelope with some recipe cards, a little sticker that flips up. It's a little tux, it's best recipe. This is from my recipe, um, my Bread Betty Crocker recipe book, which I also want to alter one day. It's not vintage, it's like 1990 something, but um, I want to, I do want to alter it one day. Some more stamping. More stamping. This has a coffee dyed doily um, stencil on it. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. Some more line paper. So lots of room to journal. You don't have to use this as a recipe um, book or journal. Um, it's another Pixby image. Um, you know, you can document family dinners or. Um, special events, you know, that kind of thing. So, for my recipe, my 1971 Betty Crocker recipe box, <laughs> a little sticker here. This is from the same recipe um, binder. Sticker up here. More lines. So, you have lines and like coffee dye paper. 
It's another um, recipe card. You see it's two pages? Yes, it's two pages stuck together here. Sorry. Not stuck together, but clipped together. Here we go. Little journal card. It says recipe notes. And in the middle of the signature, I have some note pages that you can use for journaling. This one um, on the top says grocery list. And it's just a die cut, coffee dyed die cut that's holding it. So it's not uh, adhered on there. Try to hurry up. It's a pocket here. Again, from the recipe book from Pixby. From the recipe box, some stamping. You can add a photo here. It's a Polaroid. <laughs> Goodness. Sticker at the top. Another image from Pixby. I did not print any of these um, images for the binder recipe, but if you would like me to, I can definitely do that. Coffee dye doily. Nor did I do any stamping. Um, so if you want some stamping or the recipe, just message me on Etsy if you plan on purchasing it, and then I would definitely. Do that for you it's not a problem some recipe cards you know sometimes I like to leave things plain just so people can do their own you know they might have their own decorating that they want to do so I like it to be your choice you tell us on that pocket it has another recipe um, card in it and then here's the back which is also a paper bag with some more journal cards and another little mason jar that was paper pieced so you can journal on and a sticker so that is it that is this one and let's go with this one I love this one so much <laughs> so let me move this because it's kind of big all right, so this was a recipe binder that I purchased, oh my goodness, years ago at Michael's on clearance for like two bucks. Um, and I got this beautiful fabric from Junk Journals and More Shop, that's Danny, here on Etsy, um, here on YouTube and on Etsy. Um, so I really, really love how pretty it is. So I... Um, went further with the fabric here because of the barcode and just so you can see how beautiful this this fabric is and I'm gonna add some lace and then this is just an elastic band and this is a handmade crochet flower from my friend Carmen and I just added a love brad right here so it's just pinned so you can take it off if you want all right so let's get inside all right, so I did not do anything for the front and the back covers because I, I love the um, measurement charts in here. Um, I did not alter the front of the um, dividers, but I did uh, cover the other side because it was like an ugly orange color. But I like this print. So I used paper to cover this the pages of the inside. Um, I added a lot of places where you can add photos um, because I don't want this just to be um, considered recipe. You know, you can have this as a family recipe book, um, family gatherings. Here's a um, tag that I stitched with some pretty ribbon. So that goes behind here. And then there's a sticker that says Queen of the Kitchen. This has a magnet so you can add photos. A little flower here. It's a little tuck spot. Some journal cards. This is from my Daphne Diary magazine. There's a recipe in there. 
because it's so pretty. Then a journal card. Um, this I found in the Today's Woman magazine that I have. Uh, just a little vintage coupon, I believe. And then from my recipe, 1971 recipe uh, box. There's a few of those cards in here as well. There's another one in a journal card. So this is vintage um, letterhead paper. Of course, I cut the letterhead part off. And um, I can do some stamping on here if you like. So just message me on Etsy if you want me to do that. Here's a journal card here. And then these are those green stamp things. <laughs> I got these um, in some Happy Mail. And I just clipped them on here. I've never heard of these. I don't know if this wasn't a New York thing. Because I'm 47 and I don't remember these. Um, but. I thought it'd be fun to add in there. Here's some more paper for you to journal on. Oh my goodness, why can't I get the paper? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's gonna be one of those videos. All right. Here's a pocket here with some recipe cards. You can journal or add photos. This little sticker. All the pockets have a little lace on it. Here is a page from my Richard Scary book and it had little food images and I thought it was so cute. So I added it in here. It's another um, journal card and I used some cardstock and my punch just to give it a little decorative edge. Another journal card. Another pocket with some more recipe cards. Oops, that one's upside down. So I would add a photo and then add maybe the recipe to the photo, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> a little sticker, and this is fabric washi in case I forget to say that. This is from a Mary Inglebright book that I also got from Junk Journals and More. So thank you, Danny. I got a lot of your stuff in here. Again, this is from John Jones and more as well. This long um, recipe card. So there's a couple of those in here. And on this paper clip, I have a charm that says family. And I just altered it with some fabric. And then tucked behind it is some note pages, and they are all the same. So you can have extra journaling. And an altered guest check with some washi, a doily, a little tag that you can journal on with a brad, some sticker. More um, recipe cards. This is a um, just a regular card. I thought it was so cute. It says, tea time is lovelier with two. Some more paper to journal on. Here's another place where you can add photos. It does have a magnet as well. And behind it is a tuck spot. You can add a photo or journal on here. And I love the words on here. It says, love deeply, live simply, cherish together. And I have family recipes and some fabric washi tape. It's another Richard Scary book page. There's glue on here. I feel like it's sticking, but I don't feel anything on there. It's another place where you can add a photo, just some stickers. Here, just some playing cards and a tag. Another um, playing card and a journal card. This is also from um, Mary Inglebright. Also got that from Junk Journals and More. So it's just a recipe calendar. Um, another tag that I made and stitched. And a journal card. Another place where you can add a photo, sticker, some fabric washi, 
Here is a um, Daphne diary page. I have a journal card. And this just has a beautiful table setting, so I thought it was really nice to add in here. And this is, of course, a vintage flash card and an altered paper clip. It's another pocket with another one of those large um, recipe cards, some more note pages. Another place where you can add a photo, it's a border, some stickers. And of course, as I always do, I will be sending a goodie bag with extra things so you can embellish even more. There's another place where you can add a photo. writing paper. This is from my Today's Women's Magazine. I think it's 1952, I think. So I added some washi because it is vintage, just to make sure it is secure. Is it 19? I think the date is on here somewhere, but there's the other side. So here I just added an envelope and some stickers, and there are recipe cards in here, two different ones. I think there's like four of each in here. I mean, two of each design. This is from Daphne Diary Magazine. It's a journal card. It's an altered paper clip with some lace. Here's another one of those envelopes with a, another large um, recipe card in it. And I just altered that envelope with a doily and some stickers from the paper collection. Here's another page from the Today's Woman magazine. Again, I added some washi tape to keep it secure. Some um, Martha Stewart tags. Use my border punch on this cardstock. This is from Daphne Diary magazine. I just um, put a brad on it, but it's little teapot. But they were cute. You can add them anywhere you want. There's another pocket with some more recipe cards. It's another um, tag, a journal card. This has a little whisk charm on it. And then another altered, oops. Another altered paper clip with some fabric and a heart-shaped um, button that I got from Aaliyah. Thank you, Aaliyah. And then another, oh, put the flash card back here. And another flash card. And then some more journal paper. And then here is the back. And the back has a bunch, it's like, I think it's eight page protectors that you can use obviously for recipe cards or photos um, and then here are the rest of the dividers it was getting as you can see really chunky so I just left them I just covered them and left them plain for you to do whatever you like with them and then here's the back with the other measurement chart and that's it so I hope you guys like this these two recipe journals, I think they will both make excellent gifts, especially this one. Um, like I said, this doesn't have to be a recipe binder. It could be, you know, um, you can document family dinners and, of course, add recipe, favorite family recipes or whatnot. Perfect to add Thanksgiving photos um, and everything in there. So... That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Um, if I don't have a video up by the weekend, have a great one. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.